We are gearing up for the conjunction of Venus and Rahu in the sign of Taurus. And Venus will be in the sign of Taurus in, uh, till 29th of May. So roughly till the end of this month, you will be feeling the uh, energy of Venus in Taurus. Okay, And then by the end of this month, it moves into the next sign of Cancer. No, Gemini. Gemini is the next sign. So therefore, this video is very important. Why? Because of two reasons. Venus is moving into its own sign after a long time since Libra. And also because Rahu Ketu axis is currently in the sign of Taurus and Scorpio. So therefore, whenever any planet transits uh, the Rahu Ketu axis, we start to feel that the energies are not settled. Okay? So this is not some uh, negative. This, this is not necessarily negative, but it could also happen that there are so many positive things happening in your life, but you still end up feeling as if uh, things have not settled yet. Okay. So why do I say settling? Because Taurus is the sign which uh, deals with settling and stability in life. So think, think of it like this. What is Taurus? If you see Taurus is the original sign number two. Taurus represents food, it represents comfort, it represents luxuries. It represents those things which give you a value, a sense of well-being, a sense of uh, self-worth actually. So Taurus represents those things which are very essential for your self-esteem. So therefore, the sign Taurus can also represent your childhood sometimes. Okay? An afflicted Taurus can give you a bad childhood sometimes. Not always though, but it could happen if the second house in your chart is also not very good or the second lord is also afflicted or there are malefics in Taurus, then this can happen. Why do I say this? Because how we, how we think, who we think ourselves to be, uh, what we think of ourselves, what we think of this world, all these things are significantly shaped during our childhood. So therefore, if in the childhood there are uh, so many negative things which keep, uh, which might have happened, then we tend to develop a negative viewpoint regarding this world. Okay, of course that should be uh, now if that is backed by positive uh, inspiration from your family members or seniors or elders, then it could happen that uh, you come out of those negative uh, incidences and you become more positive. But in general. On most of the cases, if it doesn't happen like that, it is seen that our traumas of childhood play a very important role in the person's career, married life, health, overall in general, which is also now backed by science. So therefore, whenever any planet transits Taurus, there is this uh, quest, uh, this search, this inherent uh, desire for stability. And there is this inherent desire for uh, checking the things that you actually value, okay? So therefore, Taurus is a very uh, crucial sign, not only for Venus, for any planet actually. And what's happening is, um, Rahu is in Taurus already, so Rahu is disrupting Taurus. Wherever Rahu transits, he disrupts that. So therefore, you can see that uh, there is this massive disruption now. Uh, I'm not talking uh, in context of the uh, virus, uh, COVID-19 virus, but, but in general, even before uh, also there was this disruption going on. But now at this time, uh, especially after Mercury had transited uh, into Bharani Nakshatra, you would have seen that, uh, especially in India, uh, the TV newspaper news, uh, all the channels, they are filled with, you know, uh, visuals of dead bodies, okay. This especially happened after Mercury transited into Bharani Nakshatra because Bharani is the Nakshatra of Imraj. And Mercury shows uh, communication and visuals actually. So now the thing is, uh, Rahu is disrupting Taurus. And then the Lord of Taurus, which is Venus, comes and joins it. So this is like saying, see, whenever Rahu disrupts something, you may not necessarily feel it always. But when the Lord of that sign or moon in transit joins Rahu in that sign, then you feel the disruption more, okay? So therefore, currently Venus and Rahu, they are uh, 
going close, close, close. And on 29th May, they will finally uh, leave each other. Okay. Uh, I mean, Rahu will be in Taurus, but Venus will move to Gemini. So therefore, this time till the end of May is a very good time for you to check which houses does Venus rules in your chart. Okay. Venus rules which house? Two houses, right? Taurus and Libra. So wherever Taurus and Libra, they are falling in your chart. You have to check depending on your ascendant, your Lagna chart, Rashi chart. <laughs> So when you check these two houses, then you have to check what are the things related to these two houses that I value the most. Or you can also check, depending on your dashas, which are the things that you have not valued. Because wherever Rahu is, it is always negation, not. okay. So it could happen that there is something. So suppose Venus is your seventh floor, for example. It could happen that you are not valuing your spouse. You are you are not valuing your business partners. And now is the time that because of you devaluing them, there is disruption in the marriage or in your business partnership. Or if Venus is your 10th Lord, you are a Leo Lagna, for example. Then it could happen that uh, you are not uh, valuing certain aspects of your boss, your career, your uh, workplace. So because of that, what can happen is uh, your boss may say that, yes, now... Uh, you now I will uh, not have you. Basically, you are fired. It could happen. Now you may say, "Oh wow, ten floor transiting in own house, it's giving Mahapurush yoga, blah blah blah." But it could happen that if you are ignoring something or somebody from a long time, then it could really happen that uh, you lose that area of your life. Okay. So therefore, now why I'm saying that you might lose it because of Rahu. Okay. So therefore. Uh, one, the other extreme is uh, you start valuing things to such an extent that you uh, you lose the uh, broader perspective in life. Okay, you feel that, yes, this is all that I want, this is all that I need, this is all that I should have. Okay, So that's the other extreme. So depending on your dashas, it will be uh, decided uh, what are the things that you are valuing and depending on your chart also. Okay? So if uh, in your case, uh, I would really like to know uh, what are the things related to the houses that Venus rules in your chart? What are the things that you think you have been ignoring? And what are those things which you have now realized related to those that, yes, I've been ignoring, but I really need to work on these. Okay. So when you are watching this video, you may think, oh, I'm just giving some information. I will hear it from this side and I will put it out from this. But please do not do this with this video. Once you have seen this video, hopefully till here at least, so then you should sit down and you should meditate. Go and meditate after watching this video. You, know, you don't have to meditate for 10 hours, not even for one hour, but just for five minutes. Go and sit in a place and meditate, silent. Just think which houses Libra and Taurus is falling. Okay, where are these two houses? Okay, here is Taurus, here is Libra. What is going on? Which are the things that I think are most valuable? But yes, maybe I have not taken care of it. Okay, and when Venus and Rahu they are uh, approaching each other now, so you might feel that there is an urgency to do things uh, overnight which is also not very good because uh, as the proverb goes, Rome was not built in a day. So you really have to understand that if you have been, uh, if you have devalued something which you have now realized that you need to value, then uh, there will be certain things which uh, will happen in its due course of time. Okay? So you cannot repair a damage of one year in one day. That's not possible. You can't do it before May 29, but now, when you're meditating today, after watching this video, you really need to uh, go and ask yourself that, yes, these are the things that I lost because of my own faults, my own mistake. Okay. Now, how can I rectify them? Even if you start to rectify before May 29, it is a big success. Okay. So, therefore, do not think that the world is going to end or do not think that your life is going to end if you do not get back the things that you devalued once upon a time. 
but this is a good time to check those things which you have see uh, when rahu is involved uh, there is always a voice inside which tells you that yes 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 you need this you need this you need this okay but the problem is there is ketu on the opposite side ketu tells you that no you don't need this you need that okay and ketu the uh, trait is it makes you very detached so when you um, when you try to indulge in rahu then ketu tries to um, bring you to himself but then the problem is when you go towards ketu because ketu is not having any uh, head you feel that yes i am here because of the frustration from rahu but then i do not see any hope here so should i stay where ketu is or should i go back to where rahu is okay so therefore taurus is the sign of stability and because of that ketu is in scorpio which is the sign of instability all the in an um um instability instability <laughs> or in english you have na in um um all this is scorpio okay like we have capable we have incapable okay <laughs> so all the ins are scorpio actually all the negations all the negativity of this world is in the sign of scorpio it's the sign of garbage is the sign of poison it's the sign of jealousy it's the sign of hell actually so you may feel because of this nervous tension that you need to go and become more insecure that that's very weird how who would want to become more insecure but that's how this venus uh, rahu ketu energy is it can give you a feeling that security is not good. better go and be insecure so therefore you need you really need to guard on these tendencies which tell you that uh, no it's good to be insecure rather than being secure okay so therefore those people who have a uh, good spiritual focus during this time uh, who uh, who have daily sadhana in their life they will be they won't be affected negatively from this transit but those people who are overly materialistic who have no spiritual goals in their life they are going to be very miserable during this time okay so you choose you decide you see where you lie but the good news is you can do spiritual practices and elevate yourself and not fall victim to this okay So that will be all from my side. If you want to watch other videos on Venus, I'll put it here. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, you will find my website down in the description section. Okay, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him.